Welcome back. We are here on YouTube looking at the commodities market and the precious metals market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Thursday, January 14, 2021. If you'd like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button, the bell button to see our new videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon, uh, where you can get access to this full video, our signal service, and uh, also our online trades and courses. So we're still, we'll start by looking at the US dollar index. And as you can see, we have rallied quite a bit. We're trading above the 20 exponential moving average. However, we're not making higher highs here. We're actually going lower and lower. And it is, it is almost a certainty that we are going to turn around here, head towards these lower uh, levels. So 89.15, uh, that is the previous lows here. And that is most likely where we are going. If you break the 20 moving average here in the bullish band, then we are going all the way down to those levels. Technical indicators are still fairly bullish at this point, uh, but I don't expect a rally up towards the 50 moving average. I don't even expect a rally up toward the top of the bullish band. So this has been um, a nightmare for many commodities, also currency pairs and so on. Stock market and ind indices have not been as effective by this um, uh, uh, appreciation of the US dollar index. Um, but precious metals, commodities, and also currency pairs have been very much affected by this move. Um, for example, the US dollar, um, Swedish krona, and the, uh, has been rallying significantly today. But I expect a pullback towards these lower levels, and I will see the most commodities and also precious metals will rally in the next few trading days. So let's look at oil. So as you can see, we went all the way up to $53.91 before we pull back. And at this point, if we see another red candlestick underneath here tomorrow, that is a massive warning sign for oil. And we are going to drop towards the, bo the bottom here, roughly $50. That's where uh, buyers will most likely come back in. And also we're going to hit the, uh, the, um, the 20 exponential moving average. If you look at technical indicators, we are overbought here. The CCI and Stochastic and MACD, all of them are turning around. So expect a turnaround here towards at least 50 if we break the 20 exponential, then we're heading to these previous lows at 47 and then probably to the 50 moving average at 45. There is no reason why we're supposed to be up here. And it's not to demand. It is probably just pure speculation. So let's look at natural gas. And as you can see, we have been back and forwards in natural gas, and uh, it's just more of the same. We have been, we have broken down, rally, broke down, rally, broke down, rally, broke down, rally, and now we're breaking down again. Technical indicators are turning around. There's a lot of room to the downside. So a pullback all the way down to the lower parts of the bullish band, just above the 200 moving average, that is fairly likely at this point. We have been rejected twice at the 50 and the bottom top of the bullish band, we pulled very aggressively back when we got to this level here. Uh, so I round off here and go back towards at least 2.34 or 3.4, 2.4, sorry, or all the way down to the 2.3 level. That is very likely at this point. So let's look at copper. So Copper has pulled back towards the middle of the bullion band or the 20 exponential moving average here. We're trading at 3.6. And this will rally when the US dollar starts um, depreciating again. So pay attention to that. We may hit the 20 um, exponential first, roughly uh, 3.57, uh, and then rally up towards the top of the bullion band at the 3.69. Technical indicators are very negative for this, uh, uh, for copper. So we'll probably have some downside before we go up. So let's look at gold. So US dollar has been um, appreciating and that has a way in on gold. Uh, so we have fallen down to 1834 
At this point, we're trading just above the 200 moving average, and uh, I don't think that we are going to break the 200 moving average. I think that we are going to turn around here. You can see the stochastic has crossed the signal line. The, that is probably the only very good news that you have. So this will be supportive, and this is showing that momentum is going to change to the upside. CCI is still bearish, MACD, the RSI is flat, and the MACD is basically bearish at this point. But I think that I do favor the upside uh, to the downside. I don't really see this dropping all the way to 1800, uh, no, and definitely not to 1700. This is just going to be a continuation of this move. Uh, we have a line here, get rid of the Bollinger Band, and we have our line here. And what we are seeing is that we hit the bottom of this range and we hit the top of this range. And usually we are just going to zigzag in between this area here until we break out to the upside. Because I do favor the upside to the downside. And therefore, I am not very concerned that we are going to break significantly down from here. I think that we're heading up towards around 1938 before we have a pullback uh, towards roughly this area here, which 1861. So there's going to be a lot of choppiness here, but uh, we are most likely going to rally from here. So let's look at silver. So similar, uh, very similar here. The 50 moving average is based on the bottom here. Compared to a 200 moving average in, in gold, we, uh, well, it is kind of trading sideways i would i would if you look at it it is this is where we are trading and at this point we are basically right in the middle so it's one of the reasons why i just stay away from silver we're not at this bottom here if we were to fall towards the bottom where we have tested three lines here is also where the 200 moving average is then yes that is a major buying opportunity and if we were to get to the top here, it would most likely we get rejected and then you could sell it. But we are basically right here in the middle of things. If we break above the 20 exponential, then we rally to these highs, 27.86, break below the 50, opens the door to the 200 moving average of roughly the $22. So let's look at platinum. So we have rallied significantly today and we're trading at the 1096. Um, there is still room to the upside. We're only 60 in RSI. We're not overstretched, uh, but we find quite a lot of assistance in this area. So it has been very back and forward with uh, Platinum recently, but the 50 moving average looks like that is basically the floor at this point. Also the 20 exponential offers support. So pullbacks towards the 20, definitely the 50, that is your buying opportunity. It has gone at this point, there's no reason why, no reason to enter this. We, if we have a pullback towards the 20, then yes, that is possible. Technical indicators are turning around, so we may see this go a little bit further before we head back down. So let's look at Pallium. So the very same thing here, nothing is happening. Uh, we are still in the same range, uh, the very highs here and the bottom, and we are kind of in the middle of things. So if you get to the top, that is your selling opportunity. If you go to all the way to the bottom, which is uh, continue to look very rare, then that's your uh, buying opportunity. That is also just about the 200 moving average so a break below the 50 here opens the door to these lows. But at this point, we are technically in the middle of nowhere. Uh, rally from here is a short-term trade to these, to these highs of 2.5. Technical indicators are flat. Yeah, thanks to basically flat, all of them. So um, I like trading the, the edges, not trading the middle, not at all. So I hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us at our Patreon if you want access to this full video. Good luck and thank you very much.